What's up guys, welcome to your 83rd Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what we're going to do in this tutorial is actually start programming our, our basically our sliding drawer class. And what I've done is I've set up the Java class called Slider. Um, you guys should have had that set up. And I kind of just set up all the reference bridges um, because we have these four buttons right here which I just gave them the IDs of handle 1, handle 2, handle 3, handle 4 and then again this one has the actual handle ID um, so keep that in mind. I also gave a uh, reference to the checkbox and I set the on click listeners by implementing the on click listener and on check change listener so set up our bridges or references to the XML then I set uh, this checkbox or the checkbox called checkbox and I set the on check change listener to this. Uh, that's why we had to implement that. And I set all of our buttons uh, the set uh, on check uh, on click listener um, to you know our on click listener that we implemented down here. And then what I did is I set up a switching case for on click method. These are these are for our buttons. Uh, switching case just gets the ID if it's the first button. Um, here's that case, second button. We haven't really filled in that yet. I'm just setting up the basic framework for for the sake of time. And then for our on check change listener, pass in this compound button for argument one. We're just going to say, is that checked? Um, if it is, we're going to do something here. If else, we're not. Now, obviously, we haven't done anything with the handle yet. Um, I mean, with our sliding drawer yet. So that's what this tutorial is mainly about. I just wanted to kind of talk through what I've done so far, just so you guys aren't uh, too confused there. So the first thing we want to do is set up our our sliding our sliding drawer. So let's do that again within our onCreate method here. I'm just going to set it up real quick, and again it's called sliding drawer. It's a class, and we're just going to call this SD for sliding drawer. And then uh, we got to imp import that, and then we're just going to say again, sliding drawer, just like any other time we set up a reference, find view by ID. And then it was sliding D was the ID we gave our sliding drawer. Set that up. Now, this is the main. Um, main part of the the tutorial here I'm just going to show you some of the functions or methods that the sliding drawer can do so we're going to say set um, on drawer close set drawer um, set on drawer close listener on drawer open listener and um, there's also a scroll listener for the drawer that you can do um, basically we're just going to do uh, one of those, but uh, hopefully you get the concept of all three of those. That's just when the drawer closes, this is when it opens. So we're going to say this as well, and then we have to imp let our class implement that uh, that class. So we're going to say let slider implement on drawer open listener, and then we just have to implement imp uh, add the unimplemented methods down here. So now we can just do something like media player mp equals media player dot create and context this for class id r dot uh, raw dot explosion and then we're just gonna do mp dot start so now when our drawer closes it's gonna just start a uh, explosion noise that we we have in our resources again that's not review but uh, that's just one of the methods that we can use. Now something else we can do is basically we can uh, toggle our, uh, our drawer th um, through code. So let's say we hit the first button and we can say our SD slider, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, our slider drawer, which we called SD, we can say dot, oh, and again we have to establish for above this on create method so our whole class can use it. So again, we're just going to say SD there and uh, define the variable above. And then uh, we can do SD dot open, SD dot, uh, let's not do that one. We're going to do, for the fourth button, we're going to say SD dot close. 
and the third button is just going to toggle it. Whether it's open or closed, it's going to toggle to the other option. So, I mean, these are just some of the methods that we can use for the sliding drawer. Um, again, that's kind of what I wanted to show you guys. And then one other thing that we can do is if our checked, if that box is checked, we can also do SD dot lock, and that won't allow our, our slider or our handle to work. It's going to lock it in SD dot um, unlock here. I know I'm going kind of quickly, um, but hopefully by now in the series you guys kind of understand the concepts. I just wanted to show you some of the methods that we can use for the sliding drawer and how they how they work. I'm um, not necessarily get into the actual coding, just some of the methods. Um, and again, we just set up our slider and we say on open listener. So let's just check it out, make sure everything works. And at the end of the tutorial, I kind of scroll through the code uh, one last time slowly so you guys can pause the video and catch up and write it if you guys are having trouble. But hopefully you shouldn't. So we're going to open up our slider class. And the first thing we're going to do is open it. And as you can hear, that's our explosion noise that we set up. Now let's do our checkbox. Now it's checked, so we can't I'm trying to slide it down, but it's not allowing me to. Um, so we uncheck it and then we can slide it down again. Our first button is going to open it up and it also calls the on open method so you can hear the explosion. And our fourth button is going to close it and since it's closed it's not going to do anything and our third button is just going to toggle back and forth. So hopefully you guys see how that all works. Our second button really doesn't do anything but um, and even when we have this checkbox, when we lock it from the checkbox, this fourth button won't close it, and the third bo button won't toggle it because it's locked. So there you guys go. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I don't know. Um, oh yeah, I'll, I'll slide through this code real quickly. Uh, implement all three of those things. Oh, you can pause here, or here, or here. And so hopefully you guys uh, kind of understand what I was trying to teach you there. Um, didn't want to get too much into like setting this all up because it would have took taken too long if you guys just watched me typing. But um, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial. Peace.